Currently in our game, we can move around inside this box. We can also jump outside our walls. First of all, I'm gonna go into our scene and draw some walls around all the edges. Just make it like a box so our player can't get out. You can see we walk and we go to the edge and we see all this empty white space. That's because our camera is following our player but isn't being confined. In a previous video, we got our camera following our player by adding a Cinemachine virtual machine by going right click Cinemachine 2D camera and then dragging our player into this follow slot. So if you haven't done that, that's all you need to do. To get our player confined to these walls so you don't see any blank space, in extensions on your Cinemachine, you can click on this drop down and add a Cinemachine confiner. You can see there's a slot here for a bounding shape 2D. To add this, I'm gonna create a new empty object Call it a confiner, then add a polygon collider 2D, then click edit collider, and you can drag these points out to the edges of your box, going just a bit over. Cool, now make sure you tick its trigger, and then we'll go back to our Cinemachine camera and drag in our confiner into this bounding shape 2D. Now when we press play, our camera still follows our player around, but stops on the edges of our box. If this feels a bit too rigid for you and you want it to have a little give when we reach the edges, on our Cinemachine confiner, we have a dampening slider. If we set this to like one and press play, you can see now the camera gives a little and then snaps back to our confined area. This gives the game a little more flow, but it's up to you the kind of feel you're going for. Cool, that's it. See you in the next one. Bye.